This is BBC One. the most vulnerable part of any modern property to an act of violence is the windows and the effect of blast on buildings even quite a long distance away from a bomb blast can be seen in the, this film taken during the aftermath of the blasts in Bristol just before Christmas and the effect of shards of glass which are fragmented from unprotected windows flying about cannot be overemphasized because the glass fragments into shards like this one I'm holding in my hand. And if you can imagine this flying about, the threat of really serious injury to the person cannot be overemphasized. So, what to do about it? Well, one answer could be a film like this. Now, it might look not all that uh, powerful a deterrent, but Nick Ashton of the firm which has developed it is now about to give us some demonstrations of exactly what it can do. Nick, looking at it first of all, is this a sort of modern variant on the old sticky paper that we used to do on the windows during the war? Oh, very much so. Um, of course, we now cover the total window and give total protection. And of course, the best thing we've got is it's totally optically clear, so nobody can detect it's there. Now, th there doesn't seem to be any adhesive on this. How does it stick on ah, glass? There is an adhesion system. There is a backing sheet on the back of this. It is pressure sensitive. You withdraw the backing sheet of course the window's got to be totally clean before you put it on withdraw the backing sheet and then spray the window with an acquiescent and then apply the film with squeegees so it is put on quite tightly perhaps not too surprising i talked about bombs you know in yep. a terrorist element yep. guerrilla situation but obviously there are many more applications than that what about even in the most innocent of things the cricket ball or other oh, in yeah, innocent yes. projectiles <laughs> towards our windows you see, we, okay we can protect against bombings but of course uh, vandalism is a, is a prime problem at the moment and in actual fact we can stop a simple thing like a cricket ball on domestic glass and we're going to have a demonstration yes, of that uh, has he got a good arm this chap i hope so well, uh, i think we won the ashes so uh, i think he's yes, not really called up but uh, yes we've got a piece of domestic glass on the right hand side and eddie is going to throw a cricket ball at this glass it has been treated right and if eddie yeah now uh, you can see there that the Glass has fragmented, but nothing has gone through. So another starred beautifully, but nothing fell. I could, I'm looking at the ground there. Nothing went through to the other side at all. Nothing at all. So in other words, if somebody had been at home and a child had thrown a ball, uh, it would have not damaged anything inside. Good. So what's the next demonstration? Well, the next demonstration we've got, in actual fact, is we uh, want to show you uh, the effects, if you like, of terrorism. And we are able to um, do a petrol bomb and show the effect that that can happen there. What we have got to do is to change a piece of glass. Right, could we do that uh, straight away then, please? Yeah, and what the problems we get when uh, an explosion happens, uh, a petrol bomb normally travels straight through the glass yes. and explodes inside, and everybody, of course, is devastated and damage happens. Um, what we are able to do is actually stop the bomb with the film. It, it will explode on the glass, but of course it will not go through and cause any damage whatsoever. Now it is interesting to note that when they changed the pane of glass there, they were able to lift that glass oh, yes. out in yes. one whole piece. Well, the greatest thing that can happen, for instance, if it was a shop front that was damaged, they wouldn't have to board up overnight. That would actually be able to be left there. Nobody's going to get injured, no stock is going to get damaged, and we don't have a problem for the company themselves. Right, we've now got our second... Uh... Now, in, in. What's going to happen now? Well, what's going to happen, these, uh, uh, we've got two Molotov cocktails, yes. uh, which are very, very lethal. Uh, these are used by all types of terrorist uh, groups. Um, of course, we have different types of terrorism. Sure. Uh, and should we retire to a safer distance? We can move slightly, but I think, I think we'll be okay. Now, what's going to happen now? Just talk us through what's, uh, what you expect. The pane that has been replaced is ordinary commercial glass. Unprotected. Unprotected. So this will be the sort of glass that 
might be in my house or yours without... Uh... Well, it would normally be in a store, in a commercial outlet. Uh, it's quite uh, it, it's quite strong glass. OK, Eddie? Are we ready to go? <laughs> Molotov cocktail at the ready. And, of course, it is uh, very... Uh, yes, we're, we're ready, ready to go. go. And So it's now been... Wow. Now, there, what has happened is the bomb would have gone inside a building, it would have caught the curtains, and everything would have been devastated. You saw the way the petrol's been spread. That is exactly what happened. Now, in fact, it looked to me, obviously, be very difficult without a slow-motion replay, <laughs> as if the bottle was still intact as well. Oh, yes. Like, only yes. exploded when it's bit That's right. on the other side. Yes, so the bottle can actually get through. Now, what we are able to do is actually stop the bottle going through. Because that glass has literally almost completely vanished. Oh, yes. a few shines left to bottom. Totally gone. Right, we're now going to have the demonstration of the protected glass. On protected glass. Now, remember, we strengthen the glass by some 300% with the film. And as you can see, it is totally optically so, clear. Eddie, let's okay, Eddie. once again. Okay. And this is something to be very cautious okay. about. Here it goes. Well, now that really is quite remarkable. It hasn't gone through at all. No, no damage. It's so in other words, the bomb has gone off on the glass, and even the glass itself has not cracked whatsoever. It looks like it's set fire to the frame. At uh, the moment, yes, it's set fire to the frame, but that will, that will burn out. That will burn out. It hasn't, yes, the, the hasn't glass is absolu absolutely unscarred yeah. even. Yeah. Well, that is a, a excellent demonstration of its proof against the fire bomber. Now, now, what we're able to do, Donnie, in actual fact, we could actually s try and smash this now with a pickaxe handle, and if you wanted to have a go for well, yourself... could you drop one for uh, me? And I'll have, have a go with you. Uh, okay, if you'd like to put some protective glasses on, then you make sure you don't get the glasses. These are protective glasses so they don't, yeah. they don't get bits and pieces. All right, let me do it left-handed, just so that we can give a clear view of the screen. You're quite sure about this? Yes, you're okay. A bit harder. That's extraordinary. Well, okay. I've managed to break it. That's but fine. I haven't got through it. That'll do fine. Now, you see, what, you, what you've got is the, the film. In actual fact, we can actually put our hands on the back and we cannot cut ourselves at all. There's not a, no, not nothing, I think. Remember, we have had heat, quite all the heat on, on, on this. Remarkable demonstration. Good. Well, that obviously shows the film. This is glass that's been superheated. Then it's well, yes, so it's, again, it's only ordinary commercial glass that would be fitted in a normal type shop front. Right, last demonstration now, and this is, uh, yes. this is the biggie, as they say. It is, it is the biggie. We're calling Mr. Tat, who uh, is our explosives expert, Yes. and he's going to... We're going to uh, demonstrate an, a, a type of explosion that will happen, uh, or would happen with, a, a, shall we say, a terrorist, uh, the type of IRA explosion that is, that is happening. Uh, it's going to be a controlled explosion, though. Right, let me give you back and these glasses, and, and we, thing retire that, we better second. retire, yes. Right, the Nick, yeah. where are we now? About, what, 20 yards, 60 yes, feet? about 60 feet away. That's safe enough. That is safe enough. Should we put an easy I think it would be a good idea. Right, now, I, I can't emphasize enough, this is a controlled explosion, yep. and Mr. Tap here is an explosives expert. So, if all is ready, Mr. Tap, are you ready? Yeah. Right. Could you, on three, two, one. Let's go see the look. That really was quite a bang, even with the earplugs. Yes, in. I know. Uh, at least the pebble wheel windows are still in place, I think. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, the, with the pain that wasn't treated, you can see it has completely left the frame. Completely left, and that would have caused total devastation. People would have it been is literally cut. disintegrated. Yeah. Totally. But of course, the other, the other pain yeah, that was is quite remarkable. Uh, if I go around here, this yeah. one, there's literally nothing left of this window. It's gone. Totally. And this one, I it's, can it's still it's still safe. Nobody would have been injured at all. Yeah, and that is a most remarkable demonstration of exactly how effective this defense is.